Hi, I'm Wes with Noria, and we're on a mission to make the world better through lubrication excellence. We've already talked about how we should calculate grease volume based upon the size of the bearing that we're using and the dimensions of it and everything else, but now how often do we need to re-grease that bearing? It becomes a lot harder to understand because we have to make sure that we keep all the variables in check. So things like temperature, speed, load, and one thing that's very important to not overlook is the type of element in use. So if we have just a traditional ball bearing like this, that's going to track through our grease, it's gonna churn through it at a certain speed, and typically it only drives through that grease at one point that is tangential to the race. Now if we switch to something like a spherical roller, now we've got a lot more surface area in contact, and it's going to actually wring that oil from that thickener a lot quicker, meaning that we're gonna have to re-lubricate this thing a lot more frequently. So if you have any questions about learning how to dial in the actual amount of grease and how often you should be greasing, feel free to contact us. We offer our lubrication program development or LPD services where we do nothing more than just go out there and learn about what type of bearings you have inside your plants. So please find us at noria.com.